Hey, it's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. This is a tutorial video where I'm going to show you how you can transfer ownership of your Discord server to somebody else. That is to literally give your server and all of its settings and members and everything to somebody else. If you want to give your Discord server to somebody else, transfer ownership, you will just simply follow the instructions in this video. However, if you want somebody else to transfer ownership of their server to you, of course, assuming they agree that they'll do that, you can just send them this video and tell them to do exactly what I show you in this video. So I wasn't planning on doing this video, but somebody called Vshock contacted me, asked me if I could do a Discord server for him. He wanted me to make him a Discord server, but I wasn't sure I had enough time to actually make a Discord server and also, to be honest, he didn't actually tell me enough about his Discord server to allow me to even improve it that much. But something weird did happen. He did actually transfer ownership of his existing server to me. So, of course, I'm going to make some content out of that by showing you guys how you can transfer it. I'm basically going to transfer the server back to this guy, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you find it useful, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Feel free to jump into my Discord server. We've had loads of new members join lately. It's been really fun getting to know everyone. Let's go. First up, a quick thanks to Owned.TV, who are my partners and are sponsoring this video. Please show Owned.TV some love. You may not know, but on Owned.TV, you can make sub emotes, sub badges. There's an avatar maker. You can even make trailers and gaming logos for your channel, as well as all of the usual stuff that you can get from Owned.TV, like stream overlays and designs. And the best part is, if you use code machine at checkout, then you get 50% off your order. Check out own.tv and let me know what you guys think. Okay, so to transfer ownership of a Discord server to somebody else, you simply need to go into the server itself of the server that you own. Now, the thing to bear in mind here, you can't transfer server of somebody else to somebody else if you don't own the server yourself. You have to own the server to be able to transfer the server. Hopefully that makes sense. And the way you establish whether or not you own the server is that you will have this little crown next to your name in the role list to the right hand side here. And if you hover above that, as you can see, it says server owner. Another way that you can do this is you can drop into the server settings. You can go into server settings here. You can simply go to the members section under user management and it will show you all of the members in the server. Now, as you can see next to my name, there is a crown here. This person is the server owner and always has all permissions regardless of role. Now, what I want to do is transfer this back to Vshock because I'm not going to be now making any changes to his server. So the way that you transfer ownership of a Discord server to somebody else is you go into the server settings, as I just showed you earlier. You go into user management and go into members. And now we just need to find these three dots here next to the member that you want to transfer the server to. Now, you can actually search for a member if you've got a long list of members and you don't want to scroll through. But you can even filter it by the role here. So if you've got like loads of different roles and you know that the person that you're transferring it to has a specific role you can filter by that role this server itself doesn't have many members so he's just in the list here so i'm going to click on these three dots and i simply need to click transfer ownership and it will transfer the ownership of the server to vshock we get a confirmation message here just to say I want to transfer ownership and you have to move this toggle just to really confirm it. This is basically Discord saying, look, what you're about to do here is pretty serious. You're giving this server to somebody else. So it says, I acknowledge that by transferring ownership of the server to Vshock, it officially belongs to them. I'm going to toggle that. I'm going to transfer ownership. Now I have to enter my Discord app authentication code. You may or may not have to do this. I think most people will have to do this because it's quite a significant aspect of Discord. Now we can see in the person list to the right hand side, Vshock now has the server owner crown next to him and it's not next to my name. And just to double check this, we're going to server settings and the number of settings that are available to me now is significantly less because I'm now not the server owner. So there you go. Hopefully you found that useful. How to transfer ownership of a Discord server. Nice and simple, dead easy. If you found it useful, hit the like, feel free to subscribe and take care. See you later.